is up you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel i am gold pony i do new car truck suv reviews on youtube and today we are in the new 2022 bmw 740i courtesy of apple bmw in york pa for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below and so i am in this one today because this thing is a beast it is all luxury competes with the mercedes-benz s-class and quite honestly it is super quiet in here right now so i'm just quite excited to be in this one not only that you do get three years thirty-six thousand miles of complimentary maintenance on this thing as well and so in this video i will be testing out and going over everything about the 740i from acceleration to braking steering for ride quality sound system exhaust clip all of that fun stuff so having said all of that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always Let's start with pricing. And so MSRP for the 2022 BMW 740i will start at $86,800 x drive variant meaning the all-wheel drive variant is going to start at eighty nine thousand eight hundred dollars and price as tested for the particular vehicle that we are in today is going to go for one hundred and three thousand one hundred and fifty dollars we do have quite a bit of options here but powering the beast is going to be a three liter twin power turbocharged inline six cylinder putting out 335 horsepower at 5500 rpm 331 pound feet of torque coming in at 1500 rpm power sent to rear wheels or all wheels through an eight-speed automatic with paddle shifters, which you guys know we will test out here in a little bit. Zero to 60 time is going to come in at 5.3 seconds for the rear wheel drive, but then 4.8 seconds for the all wheel drive we have here today. With MPG numbers coming in at 22 in the city, 29 on the highway for the rear wheel drive, 20 in the city, 27 then on the highway for the all wheel drive, taking premium unleaded fuel. But before we do any kind of paddle shifter or acceleration test, I did want to mention to you guys the drive modes they will include eco pro adaptive comfort comfort plus and sport adjusting things like the shift points the throttle response steering sensitivity the air suspension settings yes the 740i does come with an air suspension also the side bolsters on the seating for example in the sport driving mode it's going to tighten up and the gauge colors as well, which is pretty cool. And so, but now having got all of that out of the way, what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and test out the paddle shifters here first. What I'm going to do is simply slide the shifter all the way to the back and to the left. That is going to actually give me a full manual shift mode. It is telling me what gear I'm in up on the digital gauges up front here. We'll get more into those digital gauges later in the video because they are pretty darn cool. But having said that, let's go ahead and find it straight away. Let's put these things to the test and let's see how quickly these paddle shifters are going to react for us here. All right, you guys, here we go. Go in three, two, one. Wow. Yeah, okay. I knew that was gonna happen. I always forget, but I should have known. Every single time I've ever tested a BMW at Apple BMW, these paddle shifters have always been ridiculously quick. If there's one thing that I should remember on every single BMW I ever test, it's that the paddle shifters are ridiculous. They always impress me every single time I play around with them. So having said that, if you wanted to have a little bit of fun with the paddle shifters on the weekend, maybe some back roads, do it because they are worth it. These things are amazing. But now having said that, let's go ahead and get back full control to the seven series here. I'm just going to slide the shifter back to the right there and now it is telling me i am in drive yet again with no manual shift mode so let's go ahead now test out the acceleration with the 7 series having full control and let's see how quickly we can get this one here up to speed in three two one oh oh that's a soft headrest i like it Ugh. oh my gosh that was crazy. This acceleration is plenty fine. You are definitely not going to be disappointed when you hit the gas here in the 740i. And I know there's the 750 and some other configurations as well. But having said that, you don't need that. Quite honestly, you don't. The 740 has plenty of power. Definitely not going to have any issues in merging onto the highway. And like I said, these headrests, they're a pillow. So when you actually do hit the gas, you're going to be quite comfortable. I'll just say that. But anyways, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. And so when it comes to braking up front, you will find 14.7 inch ventilated front discs. In the back, 14.5 inch shallow rear discs. Did want to also mention an option that we have today being the M Sport brakes with blue cowpers. That goes for $650 if you were interested in that. As far as that 60 to zero stopping distance goes, it comes in at a very respectable 120. 12 feet that is 
sports sedan respectable let me tell you that's a wonderful number and as far as the braking feel goes it definitely stopped perfectly fine even for as large of a vehicle as the 740i is it didn't feel as much as it actually weighs so definitely a fan of the braking feel it was not a soft braking feel so i was a fan of that touching on suspension and handling up front you're going to get a double wishbone multi-link aluminum front suspension in the back integral v multi-link aluminum rear suspension twin tube gas pressurized shock absorbers dynamic damper control as well which is pretty cool it monitors these shock absorber individually not only giving you a smoother ride but also tightening up the suspension during heavy cornering as well and my favorite, a two axle self-leveling air suspension. And so that will adjust depending upon which drive mode that you put it in automatically. It's also going to lower at highway speeds and there is actually a button you can manually adjust it if you wanted to as well. And so as far as ride quality goes, it pretty much is as to be expected. I'm actually coming up on a slight manhole right here. Let's go ahead and yeah, it's perfectly fine. You're definitely not gonna have any issues with the ride quality. Definitely is absorbing Pennsylvania's road and perfections quite nice. It's a very smooth ride as expected on this 740i. As far as steering feel goes, it is adjustable dependent upon which driving mode that you put it in. It does differ quite substantially too dependent upon which driving mode. It's like if I put it in that sport driving mode, it's gonna give me a much heavier feel instantly pointing me in the direction that I wanna go. But now I've put it back in that comfort driving mode and it is a little bit more on the looser side but having said that it's still not bad but it is definitely a noticeable difference so just keep that in mind it's pretty much something for everybody i'll put it that way as far as cabin noise goes i think you guys could tell that was one of the first things i noticed when i got in this car it is so quiet it is such a serene cabin i guess as expected in a hundred thousand dollar car like the 7 series so no exterior wind noise even at higher speeds i've been over 50 miles per hour in my short test drive here today and there was no wind noise coming into the cabin whatsoever so that is definitely a beautiful thing and then maybe do in part because there is the acoustic laminated front windshield and front door glass as well which of course is going to contribute to that serene cabin then touching on visibility i could see 100 perfectly fine out the back definitely not going to have any issues there rain sensing windshield wipers also coming standard and not only that I am looking at a head-up display on my windshield right now as well. So that is currently telling me my speed limit of any given road that you're on. It's also going to tell you the speed you are currently going, and it's going to project some safety features up there then as well. But that about rounds out the performance segment of this review, guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2022 BMW 740i. All right, and so here she is, you guys, the new 2022 BMW 740i finished in mineral white metallic. In case anybody was curious of our exterior color name we had, starting up front, of course, you will find that BMW active kidney front grille with a chrome perimeter. Active being there's actually grille shutters behind that front grille that will open and close dependent upon the engine cooling that is needed at any given time. Did want to mention, though, the M Sport package that we have today actually adds gloss black exterior accent so everywhere where you would typically find a chrome or aluminum trim accent you can replace that with gloss black if you were to go with that m sport package which by the way goes for thirty four hundred dollars then take a look down to the corners you will find front air curtains helping direct air around the wheel and tire combination to the sides icon adaptive led headlights they do come with the automatic feature meaning when it starts to get dark at night they do turn on automatically for you there led daytime running lights of course coming standard and automatic high beams as well and so if you have your high beams on the senses of vehicle coming in the opposite direction it's going to dim that back to low beams then when that vehicle is gone it's going to bump it back up to high beams for you so you never have to touch anything so like that feature as well but that pretty much rounds out the front end of the 740 let's now go ahead and make our way to the side of this one and so once again when it comes to those window surrounds they will be finished in either a chrome or gloss black finish depending upon which configuration that you go with functional accents found in the front fenders i thought that was pretty cool it's not just a look or an accent piece they are functional body colored power adjustable side mirrors do come standard those side mirrors will be heated with led integrated turn signals and power folding as well then take a look down at the wheel configuration 18 inch double five spoke orbit gray wheels coming standard 19 inch double five spoke alloys coming with the m sport and then there are plenty of 20 inch wheel configurations available if you wanted to go that route take for example the 20 inch m star black alloys that we particularly have today but so then that wraps up the side of the 740 let's now go ahead and make our way to the back here led adaptive taillights do come standard m sport specific rear bumper since we have the m sport 
sport, of course. And that's essentially just going to add a heck of a lot of black accents as opposed to the otherwise body colored accents with some aluminum trim. So that's the difference between the M Sport and the non M Sport essentially. Just below it all though, you will find integrated dual exhaust outlets. Integrated being it's kind of worked into that rear bumper as opposed to just hanging underneath, which I personally love with chrome or black tips, gloss black tips. So we do have the gloss black here. So I do believe you guys know what we have to do next. As always here is that exhaust clip. And so but now since we are round back when it comes to opening that rear trunk of the 740 there are a couple different ways to go about doing it of course there is a button on the key fob and actually when you press that you will actually find it is a power rear trunk so it's not something that's just going to pop open then you have to lift it up it's going to automatically completely open up for you and then there's a button on the trunk itself if you wanted to close it then also another way to open it is underneath of the uh, bmw logo just above the license plate that's yet another way but once opened up cargo capacity comes in at 18.2 cubic feet did want to also mention there's plenty going on in that cargo area including tie down anchors which i was surprised to find led cargo lighting which kind of makes sense at this price point grocery bag hook which you typically only find on suv so it was kind of refreshing to see it on a sedan also a little bit of small storage in the area to the right in the back as well so overall pretty darn good amount of space there in the cargo area but then making our way up to the rear legroom which quite possibly is the very best part of the 740 44.4 inches of rear legroom that might be the most i've ever seen for reference i mean even six feet tall this is how much space i had back there an absolute ton of course you will find a rear center armrest with cup holders but not only that you can lift up underneath of that center armrest you're going to find a good bit of storage enough to possibly fit a tablet back there if you wanted to which i thought was pretty cool dual zone rear ventilation meaning this car actually has four zone climate control for both the driver and the passenger but also the two rear passengers on both sides too can set their own individual temperatures which is pretty cool then just below that you can find a little bit of storage there is a 12 volt power outlet and then two phone charging ports then as well but it keeps getting better let me tell you guys because you will also find rear vanity mirrors with lighting you don't ever find that on other vehicles out there that was pretty cool and a little throwback you actually also have ashtrays in the doors so if you're a smoker bmw's got you covered <laughs> i i think that's the first time i've ever seen that it's kind of funny but power rear window sunshade coming standard power side window sunshades also coming standard and by the way all of the sunshade buttons are going to be found on each door in the back in case you were curious but Overall, rear legroom was insane, and the back seats of the 740i is definitely a place that you want to be. But now, let's go ahead and make our way up to the front seats. Dakota leather upholstery coming standard, power adjustable multi contour front seats coming standard with adjustable shoulder support, adjustable thigh support, and adjustable side bolsters which was my very favorite part as well so when you just put it in a sport driving mode you don't even need to adjust the side bolsters which you can do manually on the seat itself if you wanted to but it like hugs you in place it's so stinking cool memory settings also coming standard heated front seats coming standard ventilated front seats coming with the executive package which goes for two thousand dollars and gives you a ton of other stuff too but super comfy headrest is one of the things i noticed when i hit the gas they're essentially like pillows when your head gets tossed back into them so overall i think you can imagine the seats were plenty comfortable reason being is because they are so many different ways adjustable there's basically no possible way you wouldn't be able to find your perfect driving position with them but then take a look at the steering wheel it is tilt and telescoping it is power adjustable leather wrapped and heated as well then taking a look at the startup let me actually start by showing you guys the key since we had the m sport package we do have the m colors on the side of the key but all of your buttons are located on one side being lock unlock and the button to pop the rear hatch and it is a remote start for every single trim level and a push button start as well so all i'm going to do here simply put my foot on the brake 
and press that engine start button. And so upon startup, it is a full digital gauge cluster, 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster to be exact. Speedometer is on your left, tachometer is on your right. If you see the little lines in the middle of the screen, that is going to be the navigation displaying up in the middle there. Of course, you got your M colors towards the top. That is pretty cool. And again, when you adjust the different driving modes, it's going to give you a little bit different hues as well. So red for the sport mode, blue is going to be for Eco Pro, and then you're going to get some orangish reddish hues for the comfort. So I do like the color adjustments. Of course, it's going to tell you your basics like outside temperature, how many miles you have left until you hit empty and stuff like that. But now let's go ahead and make our way to overall interior quality. Panoramic moonroof does come standard across the board. LED interior lighting also coming standard. Auto dimming rear view mirror with home link controls for up to three different garage doors. Always love that. Again, four zone climate control. There is a wireless phone charger, ambient lighting, high gloss wood trim. That was one of the cool things I liked about this one. It's found on the doors. Also just above the passenger side glove box. It's also going to be some aluminum trim on that glove box handle, which I thought was pretty cool. Usually manufacturers won't bother with that. They'll just leave it with the body colored accents of the glove box. So that was kind of cool. In front of the shifter, you're going to have dual cup holders. There's going to be USB charging port and 12 volt power outlet as well. And again, that wireless phone charger. Within the center armrest, there is definitely a good bit of storage within that. There is a phone charging port in there, 12 volt power outlet. Also, some lighting in there as well, which I thought was pretty cool. And not to mention my favorite part, the center armrests are actually heated just like the seats. So I thought that was pretty cool. Most manufacturers do not do that either. So Interior quality was as expected. It's absolutely amazing. And honestly, at $100,000, I would not expect anything less. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the tech here. 10 and a quarter inch color touchscreen display does come standard. Again, it is a touchscreen. It is also voice activated. You can use the circular dial and buttons if you wanted to. And my very favorite, gesture control. So for example, if I wanted to turn the radio up, let's say I just rotate my finger in a clockwise motion. If I wanted to turn it down counterclockwise, so I always like having fun with that. But anyways, Bluetooth and audio streaming you can find up there. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay as well. Factory navigation system, climate control settings, and one of the best parts, experience mode. So if you click that, it's gonna kind of completely alter everything. So it's gonna do things like open and close the power moonroof, adjust the ambient lighting, open and close the power rear sunshades. It really can completely change the environment on the interior of the 740i. So I absolutely love that. And of course, you can also check out your radio information up there as well. And by the way, when it comes to the sound system of the 740i, you will get a 16 speaker Harman Kardon sound system with 464 watts. So Having said that, I do believe you guys know what we have to do next. Let's go ahead and turn to the radio, see what we got playing today, and let's test out the clarity of this one. Wish I could tell you there's no one to break. Actually, that was really, really good. Clarity was 100% on point. Bass was at the very most that I've heard out there, but still, it was adequate for that sound system. And again, the clarity was crazy. So absolutely love that actually. And so the last thing I'm going to mention to you guys on that infotainment screen is when you do put the 740i in reverse, you of course will find a rear view camera coming standard across the board, but not only that, a surround view monitor coming standard as well. It's going to be that bird's eye view, letting you know what is completely all around you, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so front side, side curtain airbags do come standard. In the back, you're going to have latch, aka lower anchors to tethers for children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, tire pressure monitor, system, but also active driving assistant. This is where the good stuff comes in. That will include frontal collision warning, blind spot monitoring system, lane departure warning, speed limit recognition, and active park assist as well. And so, but that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you wanted to see what's coming next on the channel before it actually gets to YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.